those pairs that I've got on my cover photo on Facebook. So I thought I'd just quickly show you how they're done because they're so delicious. The recipe actually comes from a, a dish magazine quite some time ago. Um, you can see it's issue 48, about 20, um, 2013, so quite a little while ago. But they're really well worth doing, and particularly this time of year, while pears are so good. Okay, first thing, a baking dish that's big enough to hold the number of pears that you're doing, and this recipe is for six. One and a half cups of clear apple juice. This is in it. Some um, peeled orange peel. Two star anise. A cinnamon stick. And a little bit of saffron. A good pinch of saffron. Now a little trick with saffron is, rather than just straight putting it straight into the liquid, it's just soaking it in a little bit of hot water beforehand. So that just pops in there as well. And you can see when it's cooked, it's going to give a beautiful coloured um, syrup. Okay, now the pears. Firstly, just um, trim the base so that the pears going to stand up. Uh, just cut a little bit off like that so it's going to stand up straight. And then some softened butter to brush the outside. And I find this works best if the pears are just from the fridge because that butter is going to set on there. Just a little brush that over. And then just sprinkle with a little bit of caster sugar. Yeah, and into the baking dish. So just place them all in like that. And then bake at 180 for about 40 minutes. done by inserting a skewer and when they're tender they're ready. These have been about 40 minutes and then just carefully transfer them to a plate like so. Now I find the easiest way to deal with this is a little um, strainer like that and just tip all the juices into the saucepan leaving the peel and the spices behind. See, it's quite runny. Next thing to do is just to reduce that over a low heat until it thickens a little bit. Beautiful colour and taste delicious with the pears. Served on a little bed of um, yogurt and a drizzle of juice. Mm -hmm. 